The three-step fitting approach works well in most Rexton first fittings. Nevertheless, Connex equips you with Incidogram and Critical Gain Plus features. In this tutorial, you learn when and how to use them. The Incidogram is an optional tool that allows professionals to mute the hearing aids and generate pure tones in order to check air conduction hearing thresholds through the devices. The baseline audiogram entered is plotted in the graphic. A target square shows where you're starting from, and the squares at the top of the graphic give the exact frequency and intensity that will be applied when you present the stimulus, just like an audiometer. Use the arrows to move to a different frequency and intensity. Press and hold the center of the circle to present the stimulus. Note that the guiding squares turns from white to red while the stimulus is on. Double-click to save the response, and a near-air conduction curve is created. The advantage of using Incidogram thresholds for the first fit is that gain prescription becomes more accurate because you sharpen the assessment by doing it through the real, physical fitting setup. To use the Incidogram air conduction curve for the first fit calculations, rather than using the audiometry data, just check this box and see In Use in the tab. Bone conduction and UCL remain untouched. If you need to maximize feedback stability, an individual critical gain measurement can be run in the Critical Gain Plus tab. When an individual measurement is not performed, a statistical critical gain curve is the baseline to calculate the targets. Make sure the hearing aids are sitting correctly in user's ears. Click on Start to conduct the measurement on the desired ear. Now you can see the measured critical gain in the curve view. If the target gain overlaps with the critical gain curve, by clicking Limit Gain to the individual critical gain curve, gain will be reduced to avoid the area of critical gain. This means that target gain was compromised as a trade-off for feedback stability. To fix this, try a different physical fitting. Select the updated coupler on the Acoustical Parameters tab and rerun the critical gain measurement. The ideal critical gain curve looks like this. To use the measured critical gain, check this box and the status on the tag changes to in use. You can discard the measurement by clicking delete or decide to not use the measured critical gain by not checking this box. To apply the measured curve, click on Recalculate Fit. The Critical Gain Plus is not a mandatory step. Rather, it's a tool that supports professionals on checking physical fitting and feedback management for a more reliable fitting.